Before I thought my drinking habits were normal. I grew up in a small town where it was kind of the norm. So I didn't really know what the other side could be like without drinking. First of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and what life was like when you were drinking. Yeah, a little bit about myself. So I think you did a you did a nice introduction there. So I don't need to dive too much more into that. But uh, big big family person. Um, I have a five year old and a three year old who are about to turn six and four. Uh, so a lot of time with my family. Um, yeah, before so before you know, I thought my drinking habits were normal. Uh, I grew up in a in a small town where it was kind of the norm. And uh, so I didn't really know what the other side could be like without drinking. Um, so before it's really hard to understand and know where you are until you until you give something up and you can see the other side and spend time on understanding how good it can be. Um, before I was, like you said, I mean, 50 pounds heavier. That's just a ton of weight. So just physically, I was in poor shape. Um, sleep was poor. Um, my relationships weren't the best. Uh, I'll get to that more at, at the uh, other pieces. Um, way more high strung. Um, realizing now I was just stressed a lot for no reason, high strung, anxious. Some of those things that alcohol was actually, um, you know, a lot of people think it helps reduce your stress or helps you ease. Uh, I think it was accelerating a lot of that for me. So, um, yeah, I wasn't working out a ton. I was just kind of in a rough patch um, before entering your program. Do you know why you got into that rough patch? I don't know that I can pinpoint one thing. Um, it definitely accelerated during COVID, the COVID time frame. Uh, a lot of time at home. I uh, just had two little kids and felt like I was stressed um, and it felt like it could be an outlet for me. Uh, it just became a habit um, and something that I didn't really think about. All the, I thought about a lot, but didn't think about it as being a bad habit until, until it was. Um, so, I hear that a lot actually from relatively new parents that when they have kids under the age of five, I mean, a kid under the age of five, but in your case, kids, that you can feel like you're always putting out fires or you're always racing to do something and there's a lot of logistical conversations with partners and it can get very tiring, especially when you are continuing to try to drive your career forward and do a good job in your position in a company or if you're an entrepreneur. Is that possibly what happened with you? Yeah, I think that's some of it, James. I also think, um, you know, having two kids, which is a big change in life. Kid, one kid is a big change, two kids is a big change. Um, we had the pandemic and I was working from home. So it was a lot of different things that changed in my life uh, kind of around that same time, two or three year period where a lot of big changes uh, for me. And it's uh it's kind of just growing up right understanding what you know what's what's going on here there's so many things going on there's so many places i need to be so many things i need to do um and at the end of the day saying okay i really need to to relax i i earned something to relax or i need a i need a reward at the end of the day for doing all this um that type of thinking that that led to some some drinking and what was the quote unquote reward that you consumed most nights and what quantity of it yeah, so I, I drank a lot of wine. Um, red or started, white? Uh, red. Um, it started, you know, I actually didn't start drinking until, I'm just going to go back a little bit, but I didn't start drinking until after high school. Um, and then I, I drank a lot of during college, uh, which felt like the normal thing to do in college. Um, and then it kind of just gradually, I can, I can now looking back, it gradually progressed. Um, up until kind of what I was telling you about with COVID, but it was, you know, weekends and then it was one night a week, happy hour. Um, and then it just became, okay, well now I can have a glass or two of red wine, something at the end of the day. And then that became more and more. So it was more quantity and more frequency, uh, when I knew that something needed to change.